Hey guys, I'm Matt Hernandez, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create a sunrise in my studio for a magazine shoot. All right, so we're getting ready to shoot. I'm gonna go over the setup in just a few minutes. I wanna get them out of here, so I'm probably gonna let them go and then explain how I have everything set up. But basically, this is to reenact the Revolutionary War for the cover of a magazine. And we didn't have an actual musket for him to hold, so I had a piece of cardboard that this turf actually came rolled up on. And he's holding it in, we looked it up to see some reference pictures. He's holding it in exactly the same way and spot that he would the actual gun. And so that way I'm gonna Photoshop it out, just get a stock picture of a gun and put it over that. We're gonna take some without it too, just in case, because you never know if that's something like that's gonna work or not, hopefully it will. But we've got some sunlight coming in from my studio on the win in the window over here. So I've got these B flats set up. So it's kind of hard to see this side, but I'll walk around. Okay, so I came back here behind just so everybody can see what we're doing. So I've got a white wall in my studio. The baseboard's down there. We've got to block that, which is going to make me have to shoot up so that it, it hides it behind the turf that we have here. I've got them standing on boxes so it elevates them so they can get high enough. So the first thing that I wanted to do was think about what a sun, sunrise or sunset looks like. And it's super bright when you take a picture, right? So you can darken that when you underexpose the background with the strobe, but like if you take a picture with an iPhone or something like that, when the sun is coming up and there's no clouds, it's really bright. So I just pointed an FJ400 at the wall and it's on 8.3 out of nine. And I've got an orange flexi gel on it. So that just goes over the glass dome and it makes it orange. So that's gonna, what that's gonna do is it's gonna be really bright. The center of it's gonna be white, just like it would look normally, like, cause that's what the sun would be. It's brightest in the middle. And then it's gonna, as it falls off, it's gonna get more orange. So it's gonna be bright and then kind of like white and then kind of yellow, then kind of orange. And then, so we're gonna hide that, so I'm gonna be low. And then this, so that's gonna mimic the output of the sun. And this is gonna mimic the actual sun and the flare that comes from it. So I've got this on a boom arm on a C-stand and it's right between them. So it's gonna, you're gonna see it a little bit. Now I am gonna have to Photoshop out this arm. I didn't really know a way to get around that. That's the best that I can do in camera as far as I know anyway, I couldn't think of anything else. So we've got another FJ400 with another orange gel, and this one's aimed right at me. Anytime you aim a light at the camera, it creates flare, which is what we want, because that's what the sun would do, right? So you wanna be able to see it, and then, because it's gonna create a little orange glow around their bodies where it's between them. So we've got that pointed right at the camera, right in the middle where I can see it. And then we've got them up on that box with the turf on top of it to mimic the grass. We've got this window over here that we wanna block the light because it would make her brighter than him. So I wanted to initially just fill this in with the V-flats, but it was a little bit too, too yellow or orange looking. And so we added in, I added in a third light that is gonna be the uh, 24 inch beauty dish, the Joe, Joe Grimes beauty dish right here in the middle, and it's turned down. So the power on all three of these strobes, this one is on 8.3, this one is on 5.5, .5, and that one is on three. So I wanted that turned down, it's mainly just for fill. So these two are to block the light and then kind of reflect a little bit of light from the white and then the, the beauty dish is gonna light them a little bit more so they're not quite, they're not quite as yellow or orange on their face. It's gonna fall off quick because it's a beauty dish. It is pulled back a little bit, but it's still gonna mainly light them right here. So that's pretty much the setup. I've got all three of these on different groups with the Westcott FJX3S trigger so you can adjust them individually so I can adjust my power as needed. My settings are F5.6, so they're both in focus. ISO 500, one one, hundredth of a, one one hundredth of a second, and flash white balance. And then I'm shooting raw, obviously, so I can adjust the image later. So now I'm gonna start shooting. All right, so I'm shooting, I'm having to shoot wide, and when you shoot wide, you distort everything so the background looks further away, which is what I wanna do because I want it to look smaller so I can hide the baseboard. So I'm having to get a little bit closer and go out a little bit wider. I'm, I don't know what millimeter I'm at, it's between 50 and 35 though. Okay, and I'm just low enough that you can't see that baseboard. And that, that light pole in the back, the C-stand the with the boom arm is gonna have to be photoshopped out, but it is what it is. There's no other way to get that light back there. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, that's good. How do you, should we put her hands together, do you think, in front? Like, like not on her hips, but like this, <laughs> like this, like, just like this? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, ready? All right, don't move, guys. Pull your chins down just a hair, not much. There you go, good. That looks great. All right, that does it. Hope everybody enjoyed it. If I didn't suck, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell, 
If you've got any questions, list them in the comments below, and I always try to answer those, and we'll see you next time.